I'm sorry about your friend. And I'm sorry you're gonna end up just like her. You killed the only teammate I ever had. What about Peter? <laughs> we all know he's gonna die. <laughs> just like you. Dude, I'm sorry, man. It's a small budget. Just find something. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing around. Why are you smiling? Because I know something that you don't know. What's that? I'm actually left-handed. You're just a loser! You should see the other guy. Buff guy number one? Yeah, I finished him off. <sighs> so it's just the two of us then? Yeah. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Building them castles in the sky. So what now? Do we just kill each other? I mean, we can give each other an hour, you know, to get prepared before we hunt each other? We could. Or we could just die together. We could do like a double suicide. Yeah. I know this comes as a surprise, but you've been really sweet through this whole thing. And when I thought buff guy number one was gonna kill me, it was your face that I saw. And I realized I wanted to live with you. You know, come to think of it, I saw some poisonous berries on the way here. Let me go get them. No, wait. Wait, before we do this, there's something I gotta tell you. You know, uh, being your teammate, it's probably been the best experience of my life. When we were walking through the woods, you know, and you did that unboxing thing, and you couldn't get your lighter to work, though, so we had to snuggle under my blanket, tell stories by the unlit fire, and, you know, when I had that fever dream about singing a love song to bread, Catnip, you're my bread. I never had any real friends when I was growing up, but I think I can call you my forever friends. And I think it's finally time that I can say those three little words. Time to die. You know, it's funny. Ever since I was in that room with John Cena, and he doubted my abilities to win these games, I decided right then and there that I was going to win these games, that I was gonna be the one to kill my rude and cocky teammate, Catnip. I made her believe that I loved her. It was all so I could get close enough to kill her. They all said I was useless, that I was gonna die first. They all said the only reason I was still alive is because she was protecting me. But now, I will go down as the most ruthless tribute in history. Now that buff guy number one is dead, I am buff guy number one! Do you see me now? Mom, you can finally be proud of me for your miserable 10 minute life! Do you see me now, Walt? I am your physically weak, but mentally strong champion, Peter Manwich! Woo! Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. No, I'm oh my gosh. Okay, read the teleprompter. Oh my gosh. That was perfect. Oh my gosh. I couldn't have written a better ending if I had tried, and trust me, I did. That was amazing. That just made my day. No, my year, maybe even my... I'm so excited. I'm so happy. My fact, I'm going to call Ruth right now. <laughs> ah, no. God no. You're so strong, beautiful, and perfect. Your life was stumped out too soon. So sorry. 
<laughs> Two cents! I'm so excited. So excited. Ah! Come on, Coming Peter. over, Peter. Come on. You burned it. Come, come take your seat. Wait, who, who's that? So, you did a pretty good job. As we agreed. Well, appreciate it. See you later.